If you are using LinkedIn Live to stream live shows or streaming elsewhere on the internet, you can use a tool called StreamYard. And today I'm going to show you how to get use StreamYard to stream live a video like this. But let's see how we get to that first from start to finish. Let's go. So the first thing you need is actually um, the image that's going to let people know that you are scheduled to go live. So I use Canva for this. It's canva.com for the website, canva.com. And I'll just go in and you can have um, recent designs or we'll just do um, a lots, of, lots and lots of different options here. But let's go and pick a YouTube sized image because that will work well. Um, Sorry, YouTube thumbnail. Okay, because you can schedule to go live across multiple platforms and this is a good size to go with. So we we'll pick this size and if you have a guest on your show, you want to bring their photograph across. So I have my guests all set and ready to go. I'll go in and grab their picture now. Okay, so there is Lisa's picture. I'm gonna pull that across into here. And then I'm going to grab my own photograph um, for doing a live show. So we can pick. Uh, there we go, that one. And then what I'll do is make this slightly bigger. And I'm going to remove the background image. I have a tutorial um, that goes into that in more detail as well. But we'll click away the background image on both of these pictures. I do the same. <laughs> okay, background remover. So it's nice and tidy like this, okay. And then on the background of the image itself, we're gonna put a color in. All right, and I will just fast forward this. I'm going to add some text. Small business series, LinkedIn Live, live with Lisa, Ooh, Lisa Pickles. And then I'm going to say when it is, so Wednesday, 2 p.m. on, and this one's the 16th of June, okay. All right, so, and then we're gonna make that in white, just as that stands out. Okay, a little bit bigger, oops. Okay, now um, you want to have a little bit of a theme in with whatever your guest is, and Lisa helps people um, who work in farming, so let's get some appropriate images. Actually, food and drink brands she helps, not, well, which could be farmers too. <laughs> So let's go grab some images from there and uh, let's see. I don't think we want burgers. Um, food and drink brands, maybe that one there. All right, I'm just, so you have lots of free images that you can use on Canva and we just really play around with this stuff till we see what we think looks best. Okay, um, there we go. And we are both small businesses, so we want to have something in the line of um, small business as well. Let's see, I think that's probably fine. Um, small business. So let's go have a look. All right, and I prefer the graphics for these images, to be honest. I think they just look a little bit better. So small business series even though neither Lisa or I actually have a premises. That's okay. Again, I'm gonna put that in white. Okay. And then maybe make our text a little bit stronger in bold. And I want to have it in the, the Montserrat font. So if you have a font that you use online, try and stick to that font across um, your content. Okay, and then last thing I want to do is just move balance up out a little bit. Um, and I could add in my logo, that would do. Let's see, logo, does it have it? Yes, it does. 
thank heavens. And let's see. Can't see that at all because of the colour. Oh. And we, okay. So I've decided to go with purple because I think then the logo stands out a little bit more. So we just, there's the name of the image and then we download it here. And I click download. And what we're doing next is we're going to go to StreamYard and set up the link. So while that's downloading, that's great. I'm going to go and open a new window and I'm going to go to StreamYard. So I have an account on StreamYard, which means that um, everything is already in here. So we're going to click on, so you can set up your destinations here. So you can add in um, a destination, Facebook, uh, Twitch, LinkedIn, pages, events, profiles, YouTube and Periscope. Now, you, if you want to stream live under LinkedIn, you have to apply for it. And you're supposed to have at least a thousand people in your network, show that you are uploading original content onto LinkedIn, um, and then apply. That's a wee tip for you. So we'll just click on broadcasts and we'll click create broadcast. So I'm going to broadcast to my LinkedIn page. And I also like to go live with these on the YouTube channel because um, people might want to watch it on YouTube. So small business series. So you want to write a title that's going to appeal to people. Lisa Pickles, find me the leads, which is the name of her brand, uh, LinkedIn Live. And then say something about this broadcast. So um, Lisa is going to join me on my weekly broadcast. I'm just going to go over and grab her LinkedIn profile. Um, so here we go. Just going to copy this piece from her about section. Back to StreamYard. Um, live interview with small business owner Lisa Pickles. Um, who supports food and drink producers who want to get their products into more places in front of more people. And join us live and bring your questions. Okay, and then you click schedule for later. So some rules here, LinkedIn doesn't allow starting more than two hours late. <laughs> I don't think anyone's gonna turn up uh, like an hour late. Um, but you can't start more than 15 minutes earlier and you cannot change the editing, the start time once you have put it live. So this is where we're putting our image here um, in here. And you'll see how it fits now. Perfect fit. So you apply. So remember, use the YouTube thumbnail size inside Canva to get that perfect image. And it's going to be on Wednesday and it's going to be at 2 p.m. Okay, and then it says customize for each destination. So I'm doing the same um, upload for same title and upload for both of those. Schedule start time. Make sure you've got the right time because remember you can't change it if it's on LinkedIn and then it clicks create broadcast. So what happens next is it actually creates a post on my LinkedIn. So first of all, you want to go in and invite your guest. So you click on the invite guest and the unique URL that you send to that person. And then you go and view what it looks like on LinkedIn over here. You're about to view a broadcast on LinkedIn don't don't have LinkedIn live streaming live beside you while you're on LinkedIn because it will not um, there's a time delay. And so there's our post. Now what you do next is you go into this post on LinkedIn and you edit it here and then you tag the person Lisa Pickles so that she knows um, interview small business owner, join us live, bring your questions, click save. And now people who um, see this post can click remind me and they will be notified when Lisa and I go live on Wednesday. And likewise, if we look at it on YouTube, let's have a look up, see what it looks like on YouTube. Um, same idea. There we go. Scheduled for 16th of June. Um, so the people can say if they want to um, come and join you. Uh, at this stage, you can go in and edit your um, the posts on each of those different platforms. Then when you're ready to go live, um, 
check out the video on best tips for a LinkedIn live guest, but you basically enter your studio and what you want to do is add in advance, add in links that you're going to share on screen during your live broadcast. Um, so whenever I pull up a comment on screen, I can also pull up pre-prepared links to Lisa's website, maybe to my YouTube channel or my podcast. And um, so use those things. So the next thing I need to do is grab the um, URL for Lisa, send it to her in an email so she's got notification on LinkedIn and she has a link in her inbox. Um, and also then you can um, use the link from LinkedIn here. So you copy the link to post here and you can send it out to your email newsletter subscribers um, or share it elsewhere on the internet to get more people to show up for your LinkedIn live stream. Okay, hope you find this useful. Um, the same applies if you're going live on Facebook or elsewhere. Um, create your image, schedule your um, stream yard, write about what you're doing and enjoy, enjoy going live and, and hopefully you will get um, good engagement from people who are watching your video. If you'd like to continue getting help and support building your business online, then make sure you hit subscribe and hit the little bell so you get notified when I create my next tutorial video. And thanks for watching today.